All right, hey everyone, Waterbot here, and welcome to Blooms. Okay, so I haven't finished Advanced yet. We're still on them. Oh, and it's cornfield time. Yeah. Then we only have a couple maps left. I might be able to clear through this pretty quick if I get lucky. We'll see. All right, so this is going to be a bit dicey, uh, if only because lack of space. We, we have such a small location to work with here. And I'm pretty sure... Oh, <laughs> boy. That's going to be a problem. Interestingly enough, it's not its not necessarily the worst place to put a sniper down. Let's see. Who else do I have that I could actually swing here? I mean, the ninja wasn't terrible. Like, we really could just have, clear all the fields, but have this area just be kind of my, my personal stomping ground. I mean, I could do Blade Maelstrom. Go for that instead. I'm going to try that. Let's see if this gives me enough space to fit a sniper in here. Yes. Okay. Works. Let's do that. Let's go long range tacks. And then... Probably faster shooting. I don't actually know which is better. But I think I'm going to go for faster shooting all the same. Okay, so let's let's see if this this guy can just mulch everything that goes by. And then let's save up for Bengus. It might not work. And this guy certainly hasn't had to attack yet, so that's a good sign. Uh, mixed bag. I might need a little bit more help than this, but we'll see. I think that it's the dense areas that's going to be a problem. I might have actually been better off with the uh, the more, not the faster. Oh well. Okay. Uh, let's see. So biggest goal really is just clear out all the cornfields. It's going to be kind of dicey otherwise. I've got a couple of options, but none of them I'm immediately comfortable with. Like, we could try and not get rid of any of the cornfields and just make it work. Uh, I feel like fire wizards would be the trick. Um, just a couple of those. Uh, like a fire wizard and then like an anti- un or a and a necromancer at the very least. And maybe like one or two others. But even then, this is a really small real estate for that kind of thing. So I'm not, I'm, I don't know. Yeah, let's, let's get Bengo down. Now, tragically, I'm not going to be able to hide Bengo on this map. Normally, I hide hide him places. But I guess we'll just feature him front and center. When does that happen? When do I do that? It's rare. That's for certain. Alright. Yeah, let's, let's just go full blade blade shooter first, and then start clearing. If I remember right, some of these were real cheap. But we're gonna have to, we're gonna actually have to spend a considerable amount of, amount of money clearing all this stuff out. Holy shit, actually. Oh, that's gonna be, that's gonna be a thing. Okay, the blades aren't too bad. Alright, so with this... What do we start clearing? I'm thinking if I specifically clear this first, and then maybe this field. That'd give me a good spot specifically for a sniper. Because at the very least, I could have one of my chain shot snipers kind of hanging in the general area. Doing its thing. And then I might... Eh, maybe I shouldn't have done that. Okay, we want to have this guy focus strong. I probably should have had him lower down here, because we could always put a monkey town in. 
or I could put the monkey town here. Up above where it's less of an immediate problem. Oh, we did actually end up letting one through. Is what it is. Now, do I save up for a bouncy shot? Or do I open this up? Open this up. The sooner this guy can get shooting, the better. Okay, they are getting through. Now, do I want to do sharp shots? I'm just going to give this guy a crossbow. I know everybody always says, like, you don't need to do that. Try one of the others. And it's like, yeah, but could. Okay, let's let's save for a bit. This this guy's doing decent, but I think we want to go for bouncing bullets. Gosh, this all must be a, a ooh. Ah, uh, well, never mind. We lose. I wasn't. He's got to be power first. Okay, how about this? Let's not do that. Uh, let's go back home. I don't... This is probably going to back backfire. Let's go Oberon. Because he's a solid soloer. Works well in uh, small quarters. Um, and has range. Because I'm not actually using Benjo that much. The extra money from him is nice. Don't get me wrong. But what if we just put Oberon right here? Oh... Oh, he's not blocked by the cornfields. He'll hit whatever he dang well pleases. Let's just jam in like half a billion dudes in this entire area. Because realistically, there is another, I much like snipers, there is a money druid. Because it's jungle, Jungle's Bounty, which costs just about as much. I'll have to get some banana farms down to actually, you know, swing it. But it's probably worth it. Yeah, let's just... Let's just go bananas. And this way I can largely ignore getting rid of these cornfields apart from making mad money. I think I'm going to focus them mostly on this central location and nowhere else. But first, let's 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 see about how big these are. Because if I can fit farm, 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 and then druid, druid, that'd work. Otherwise, we could do a druid, 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 farm, 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 or farm, 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 and then the three money druids up here. That's actually probably my best bet. Or we ignore a lot of it because it's it doesn't matter. Well, this certainly feels immediately easier. Oberon is pretty dang good. I guess I might as well just pop that whenever. <laughs> The, the, the other thing is straight up, like, what level is it? Yeah, Nature's Clarity at 11. All magic monkeys get extra range and pierce. Druids get an additional pierce. Don't they get, a, like, another one? All Druid of Wrath Pops start each round at 200. Oh. Okay. And yeah, also just Nature's Wrath, all druids in range. Get bonuses. So in retrospect, maybe I should have put Oberon up higher. Uh, eh, it's fine. We'll make, we'll swing it. Right, let's pop this open. I forget what the totem does. Slows balloons near the totem by 30%, less if less effective against Moabs. Which, speaking of, Moabs are probably going to be the biggest worry that I have.
but maybe I'll be okay. I don't know. We'll find out. This is going to be an interesting adventure. I just want to see how wide this is. Try that. Okay. Go for that. I'll probably want to get uh, some of the druids, some pop listed druids as well. But those are going to be kind of expensive. That's an immediate issue. We have zero stealth detection. I'm also not sure about the status of our anti-lead. Let's start with this, just because. At the very least, I know that works against lead. bad spot very momentarily. Okay. I'm gonna sell this guy. Jam that there. And just go radar scanner. And then maybe bigger radius? I, I think my biggest problem is going to be my, my layout is bad. But I also kind of am just going into this with the idea of just science more than success. Okay. This sucks. At least now we have radar scanner. Probably gonna go bigger radius and, and jungle drums just to save that little bit of money. Let's see. I know. So far, so kind of fine. Okay. Go with that. I don't necessarily know if I want to go Nature's Bounty. But I certainly could. Oh. Let's always have these guys kind of go for last. Okay, and then let's go Jungle Drums. I mean, vines are certainly working. Kinda. Okay, probably want to wait and get another one of these guys. Okay, time to find out. We still lose. Yeah. I figured, I figured that was going to go badly for me. Um, hmm. I mean, I think the main thing I was I was fooling too much. So I'm thinking what I do is instead I put Oberon up here. We're gonna have our money druids up here. We're gonna have our pop lust druids down here. The only issue is anti stealth and to some lesser degree anti moab. I'm not even going to bother with this guy. I, he doesn't need to exist. I guess the other op option is we just get a ninja down. Or a 
wizard monkey. I feel like a wizard monkey with shimmer is probably my my best immediate option. I'm gonna hold off on that though. Start with this bad boy. Okay, so let's let's have the right the center the centermost ones have to be uh, druids of the thorn. Some amount of me is a little disappointed that I can't just go like full druid on this one because I know that would be obscene. I guess the other option would be slapping a monkey village down kind of in the center of this and having that work instead of bothering with the mage. It wouldn't necessarily be the worst idea in the world. I don't know. I, I realize whenever I do stuff like this, whenever I start breaking away from the the established meta that I myself have already created. Uh, you know, I start losing more, but it's it's really the question of like, but is it worth it for that knowledge? Is it worth it for the learning? And is it worth it just to mess around? And I think my answer personally is always gonna be yes, just because that's kind of the person I am. So we'll probably go monkey business first. Like get it, get those those first two levels. Because these two guys should be able to solo this no matter what. And part of my thoughts are, what if I just have a shit ton of druids? Like what if I just what if I just go big? Or not big. What if I just had a lot? Alright, there we go. I really should just be popping that ability constantly. Okay, so I was going to give this guy... Reach... definitely need Heart of Thunder at this point. And we also need more Druids. Okay. So there's some stealth to contend with. So we should probably look into getting the Radar Scanner, otherwise I'm going to lose. I also really got to remember to hit this ability constantly. It lasts pretty much forever. And yeah, if the, this whole radar scanner business doesn't work, then we go druid and or wizard. That's just, that's just lead. We don't, we don't actually have to worry about lead balloons that much. Then let's try and get it so that I'm not afraid of stealth. Okay. Next up, more druids. Okay, stealth is not going to be a problem, hopefully. There we go. I just the question is, are are four of these guys going to be able to just body a Moab? I am unsure. I 
I mean, we're definitely going to be able to zap the hell out of whatever we're fighting. I'm, I'm certainly enjoying watching these guys fight. And maybe Druids of Wrath. Okay, and then we get more down. I mean, the Chain Lightning is certainly just demolishing. Heart of Thunder. I... Well, I mean, they mulch. Okay, we should save up get rid of this. That gives them a little bit of extra reach. Okay, reach... Yeah, I lost. It was worth a shot. The biggest issue is just that... Was well, I wonder if a... No, Glue Gunner wouldn't have been able to do that. Okay. Let's go home. I like the idea of the Oberon build, and I, I think it could work. Um, But I also think it's going to cause me problems. Rules are made to be broken. I don't know. I, I'm sure there's a way way that I could have done that. Probably specking into ninjas or a couple other things. I think uh, I always do suffer a little bit on the econ side of things where it's just like, yeah, but lack of money is kind of killer. Okay. So now that we've determined that, that that was no good, let's let's go back to what we had pioneered previously, but let's try more tax this time. Okay. Hopefully this will be good enough. I don't fully know. The other thing is Benjamin specifically is not limited by maximum lives, which is kind of huge. Okay. Now what else do I do? I guess I just wait. <laughs> be patient. Take some time. It's interesting. Is this... No, I guess this is a problem with a lot of games. RTSs and whatnot. Well, kind of. It depends on if you're iron, iron manning or not. I've always been a save scummer. I always like saving in the middle of a round. Obviously, respecking hard into ben Bengo is... You know, I'd have to start over for that kind of thing. But, like, normally, I don't know, I, I still feel like being able to quick save in the middle of a match and be able to go back, like, five rounds and be like, okay, instead of putting down this market, let's just put down, you know, a helicopter. Which is probably actually the solution on this map. Just go nuts for helicopters. Right. Even more tax down. There we go. We'll at least go Blade Shooter before I switch to anything else. Though, I mean, it's really tempting to go Blade Overdrive instead. But now, let's go Blades. Is that better? I guess we'll find out. Alright, so first and foremost, we want to put the sniper down lower. Okay, point you at strong. So this one's going to be full metal jacket. We need it to be able to take out the lead balloons. <laughs> oh, it can, it can barely handle some of these things. That's a... That's hilarious.
Okay. But this way, at the very least, it can shoot lead. And then we're going to clear these two out. Because we got a, at least a little bit before we have to worry about lead. And plenty of immediate money that I should be able to pick up. Okay. Now that he's somewhat solid, let's let's pop these two open. Give them at least a bit of a starting shooting gallery. I might honestly have this guy go maybe juggernaut. I think the one thing I would say is that his his placement is particularly terrible for that sort of thing. Alright, there we go. I guess, in general, my, my placement here is kind of bad. Oh. As a, this is hurting a bit. Okay. kind of slow things down a little bit. This is going to help anyway. Okay, and then we have to save up really awkwardly for Bouncing Bullet. That's a lot of money to put in. But it is inherently worth it. I feel kind of bad for the dead Scarecrow. I realized, like, yeah, it's just a Scarecrow. But it's just, still just like, it's a sad little buddy just on the ground. So far, so good. Because, yeah, as soon as we get Bouncing Bullet, this whole map becomes considerably easier to finagle. There it is. Okay. Do I go... Do I get a second one of these? Yes. We're gonna have this guy go back to first. This is this is our anti-metal. This guy's our anti-stealth. I I'm willing to experiment experiment and mess around a little bit, but on flip side, you know what? Old faithful is is old faithful does. Okay, so I'm thinking we had deadly precision. I don't think I'm going to get the, the full anti-Moab experience here. But I certainly will be able to do a fair bit of damage to a one all the same. There we kind of go. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to hit me Moab. The question is, do I save it for main Mo Moab? Well, I guess we'll find out pretty quick. I don't think I don't think I'm gonna get it. We could potentially do Blade Maelstrom. Let's see how much money we have, because we could do Large Caliber and Juggernaut, or just go full Blade Maelstrom and hope for the best. Oh. Never mind. Easy peasy. What else do we do? I don't know. I guess we wait. There's a couple of things that I could mess with with this specific strategy to make it better. I, I think I will... Uh, let's save up for supply drop first. Because we currently have no Econ. And while I realize that Econ isn't actually that necessary uh, in the long run, it's still kind of comfort food. It's a nice thing to fall back on. And also Supply Drop is, is useful.
and also just like, these guys wreck. I've seen a ton of people say like, hey, you can't just rely on snipers. Thank you. They're so dang good. Okay, let's get that and clear this out. Now the world is my oyster. Mine. Now what do we do? First and foremost, I gotta remember to actually press that button. I gotta remember to press it somewhat often. Okay, considering I have unlimited space, let's fall back on incredibly old habits. There we go. This got messy. That's fine. Oh, uh, you know what? I'm gonna sell this. We're just gonna plunk this here. The question is... I'm gonna sell both of those. Hold up for a hot second. So, obviously we've got the monkey village. Do I want to go... Well, there's our monkey knowledge point. Uh, let's deposit into that. So if I go monkey business... Do I go for bigger radius or do I go for anti-stealth? I don't think we need to worry about anti-stealth that much. So let's go... Let's go these two. Okay, that was, that was a little tighter than I wanted it to be. Okay, slow it down a bit. Lock this guy here. So I'm thinking we go rocket pods. Question is... Pop three balloons each. Nah. I mean, otherwise I could do... Laser cannon is good. Rocket pods is super handy. Yeah, let's go rocket pods. And we could kind of have like a crossfire between two of these guys if I really wanted to. One way or another, this seems like an incredibly good spot to have one of these guys hanging out. So good. Still want to save up for that. Flex. Deposit. Leave for a hot second. Uh, let's get this guy Hydro Rocket Pods. There we go. Yeah, he's he's too good to ignore. You know what I've totally forgotten to do this entire dang time? Oh, does the value go up? over time. I think it does. Alright. We're back up to a reasonable speed. I think just with the Hydro Rocket Pods that, sh that should clear a lot. Okay. Let's keep saving for the money. Yeah, no. It, it builds up a little bit to make up for the fact that I've been forgetting it existed. Maybe I didn't spend too many rounds like that, but I bet I did. Yeah, I should just be mashing two and three. I really wanted those mods that let me mess with them. Unfortunately, modding is uh, no good. Well, it's not no good. I gotta do a round where I really do make the Dartling Gunners. Kind of the star of the show. You need a specific couple of rounds for that. You know, I might actually do that in multiplayer, now that I'm thinking about it. Um, I guess 
small pseudo sneak peek here. Uh, but we've got a... Nope, we're good. Uh, we've got an incoming multiplayer series. Which I'm very much looking forward to. I gotta do some editing for that. Oh, right. Flex deposit. Uh, let's probably just go for the elite sniper button. Or on this guy. Oh, no. Let's go monkey town. Really, is this dartling gunner he is getting a fair bit of kills, but I think the rest are getting more. There we go. Now we save up for the elite sniper. It takes up up to wave 60 something to get Bengo, uh, to get your hero up to level 11. So, oh, yeah, I don't know. I'll have to figure out how to really make Oberon sing. I'm sure we'll get to that point. I'm still looking forward to getting. Uh, let's see, I, I'm still looking forward to getting double cash and then just going infinite mode. Because I feel like that could be really interesting, purely from the perspective of, like, how long could I go on a map? But it would also offset a lot of the major deadly waves that wrecked me previously. Okay. Get that rolling. I hear ceramics, I shoot ceramics. Okay. Probably grab Monkey City now that I'm thinking about it. Okay. Grab both of those. Alright, and then go Speed Demon. Where is Foe? There is Foe. Goodbye, Foe. Holy shit, that is a decent amount of money. I don't actually know what the maximum level on this is. Oh. I feel like the most one-trick pony whenever I do this, though. Well, do we want to try a couple of different things? K kinda. I should, at least. Do I actually want it? Now that's an entirely different question. Flip side. Elite Defender. Save him for Crippled Moab. Now let's go Elite Defender. Okay. Now, Vassler... Uh... Here's what I'm going to do. As for reload, miss launcher. Yeah, let's just get one of these guys up. They're kind of inherently worth the money. Uh, let's see. Who else do we... Do we slam down? I mean, ham shot? Ham boy? main thing is, kind of nothing matters. Let's go bat. Bat guy. That does actually change the full appearance. I guess we might as well move him in place. There we go. money into. What does it even matter? We're done. Hooray! That was fun. Let's see. Oh, right. I got a monkey knowledge. And I was really, really starting to put it in here. That, 
That alone might be worth it. What else do we got here? I mean, that's pretty good. Making the Juggernaut better against Moabs might be something to work it work with. These might be kind of neat. But I think I want to focus on military balloons. Because getting down, getting to this, especially, big balloon sabotage, oh, That'd be amazing. Okay. So in that case, I guess let's just pick breaking ballistics up. I'm curious if this... Okay, it's going to need both of these. So this is going to get kind of expensive. It's fine. For now, at least. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.